cutest thing I have ever seen. Why am I talking like this? Thank you. I know I normally wear floral cardigans, but I thought I'd live on the wild side and try unicorns. Not your sweater. That! Seth, what is that? It's a new species of animal I discovered on my zoology expedition to Australia. It's a pup and a walla. A cross between a puppy, a kitten, and a koala. <laughs> yeah, sure, it's cute. But can I do this? <laughs> anyway, it's pregnant with a litter, and I need I to... want one! I want one! China, I can't give the babies to just anyone. I need to make sure they'll be properly cared for. Uh, please give me one. I'll take great care of it. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. One time, China ran to the market and left me tied to a parking meter out front. Quiet! Bad olive! Oh, man. They've discovered a bald eagle in crisis. They want me to lead the rescue team, but I need someone to feed my animals. I'll do it! I'll do it! Because I am a good friend. And I'm super responsible. Responsible enough to have a pup in New Orleans. Maybe two! So they can snuggle! Are you sure it's not too much trouble? No way! <laughs> Way. Back in my day, we respected our elders because there were only two of them. <laughs> Come on, that sounded just like Skidmore. And I even had her dead look in my eyes. <laughs> Hello, Principal Skidmore. What beautiful dead eyes you have. <laughs> Principal Skidmore, got a little, uh, kitten right here? <laughs> It's frozen yogurt. I got this school of frozen yogurt machine because I realized I needed to be nicer to you, Ants. Let me guess. 50 bucks for a small. Shut it! I, I mean, um, hush now, little one. <laughs> uh, the yogurt is free and is in no way part of a plan for me to destroy you kids once and for all. <laughs> in fact, your friend Violet just enjoyed some. Principal Skidmore is wonderful. Enjoy some free yogurt. Isn't she delightful? <laughs> I am Lucy Jordan, reporting live from the headquarters of ZTech, where after years of revolutionizing the world of technology, CEO Zoltan Grundy has decided to revolutionize the world of education by opening up a school for prodigies. And I'm here with some of the students. Hmm? So you're a computer prodigy, right? Yes. And I have found out everything there is to know about Lucy Jordan. <laughs> How about you? What's it like going to school here? I think this school is wonderful. <laughs> Much like the new Z Phone 5, with its many spectacular features and extra long battery life. Did Mr. Grundy ask you to say that? No, he did not. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> What's the best part about going to ZTEC? That would be me, Lexi Reed. Yes, I'm actually this beautiful. It's not a camera trick. <laughs> Typical local news doing a fluff piece about pampered, spoiled, entitled children like me. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> okay, you haven't had a chance to ruin this segment yet. <laughs> Can you tell me? I have a girlfriend. <laughs> this is my girlfriend. I'm not sure that that's newsworthy. Oh, if you knew me at all, you would know that's news. Hey, Alan, what you doing? Don't move. <laughs> Why can't I move? Because for my Black History Month presentation, I'm making a memory quilt, traditionally used by African-American women to document national, family, and personal histories. Right now, I'm preserving the memory of me telling you that I'm making a memory quilt. Well, I'm glad you found something connected to your talent to do. I'm really struggling. How am I supposed to fit the entire history of African-American music into a two-minute song? All I have so far is Ella Fitzgerald read the New York Herald. At the top is Aretha, and everyone's Bonita. Why don't you scat? Hey, you think I 
special word scat singing into my song? No, I mean scat go away. <laughs> Your bad song is making me sad, and I don't want any unhappy memories in my quilt. <laughs> You're right. I'm just gonna take all these books and albums and go into the sound booth. And I am not coming out until I write a great song. I service this school by rocking! <laughs> What are you doing? Preparing my presentation. <laughs> Skadoosh! Fletcher, it's Black History Month, not Jack Black History Month. I thought it was weird he got a whole month. Hello, Fletcher. Lovely weather we're having. Hello, Olive. How are your stocks performing? Okay, this is just weird. Although my stocks are actually doing quite well, thank you. Sorry, I guess I'm just a little freaked out after the lip touching thing. Yeah, that uh, lip touching thing was unexpected. Unexpected like winning the lottery or unexpected like getting mauled by a bear? Winners experience an immediate sense of euphoria. It often devolves into a miserable existence marred by alienation, lawsuits, and broken relationships. <laughs> While bear attack survivors, on the other hand, often develop a new appreciation and zest for life. <laughs> so kissing you was as good as being mauled by a bear. Thanks, Olive. It's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> hey, guys. What's going on? Uh. Uh, Help! I was trying to steal my wallet! <laughs> what? You were just about to blow my scary stranger whistle on you! <laughs> hey there, friends. I'm going to starch you off tonight with some potatoes. Get it? Starch potatoes. Sorry if that joke was a little corny. <laughs> you know who really loves puns? No one? Olive. Well, I can't wait till she gets here because we're throwing a vegetable party and I've invited mushrooms and onions and peppers. Oh, look, we have a special guest at the party, Elvis Parsley. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is delicious. I'm so glad you like it. See, nothing makes me happier. Is that salt? Did you hear me invite salt in a party? No, but Elvis Parsley said it was cool. Oh, how dare you speak for Elvis Parsley? You don't know Elvis Parsley. Elvis Parsley is not your friend. Elvis Parsley is my friend. Take it easy. It's just a little salt. A little salt. Hey, little salt. Well, why don't we just add a little rat poison? Man, that stuff doesn't work. <laughs> we cannot let Olive take this maniac. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, what's going on? What's going on is Graham is. My, don't you look as pretty as a peach? <laughs> what kind of peach? A freestone peach, a clingstone peach, a stink blossom peach? Obviously, stink blossom. Oh, you. Before I say anything about how you look, are we at the point in our friendship where I can be honest with you, or do I have to tiptoe around your fragile ego and tell you that you look great? Lexi's been in the stupid bathroom for like three hours and I couldn't get in, okay? Well, don't worry, you look great. Hello, ladies. I hope my sparring buddies didn't scare you. I'm a new student here. The name is Ticonderoga. Dixon Ticonderoga. China. Parks. China. I did that wrong, didn't I? <laughs> Everyone, I'd like to introduce myself. Here I am! Well, teenage me. Really? You're me? 
What's with the disapproving tone? Really? You're me? What's wrong with how I look? You want me to start the hairless top or the flabby bottom? Hey! This flabby bottom has a wallet in its back pocket filled with 62 billion dollars! <laughs> I don't believe in banks. Hold on. You traveled here from 1986? You're Zoltan? In, in the, the flesh. flesh. <laughs> Some of us in more flesh than others. I don't understand. Who is... How did... What was... Huh? It's simple. When I was 14, I built this time machine using spare parts, 80s toys, and hair gel. We had a lot of hair gel in the 80s. Not that you need much of that right now. Will you shut my mouth? Anyway, I traveled to the future and arrived, well, about two minutes ago. Wow, so what's the past like? Are there cyborgs and flying cars? It's the past. I know, I just really don't pay attention in history class. I am so excited! Olive and I are giving each other makeovers today. I barely get to spend any time alone with her since she started dating Dixon. He is always around. It'll be nice to finally do something, just me and Olive. Well, clearly you've been desperate for companionship because you've mistaken me for someone who cares about your life. <laughs> Hey, China, ready for some girl time? Sure, just one problem. He's not a girl. <laughs> he's pretty, but he's not a girl. The spy business is a very lonely business. I didn't want Dixon to feel left out. Come on, you can do my makeup, I'll do Dixon's, and Dixon can do yours. Dixon? Don't worry, China. I've actually taken courses in makeup application. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Really? Okay. Thanks, China. I look great. And Olive, I like the way you put makeup on me. <laughs> and China, what do you think? I think you could have told me you specialize in disguise makeup. <laughs> and why would a spy ever need to look like a hamburger? <laughs> Come on, China, you look great. All you need are a couple of accessories. Oh, you mean like a milkshake and a side of fries? <laughs> look at her. She's an unhappy meal. <laughs> well, my dad tried, but he couldn't get his old job back. He burned all his bridges. No wonder they're so upset. You can't just burn a bridge. People will notice that sort of thing in their drive to work. <laughs> Uh, pursuing my dreams of working in the movies. But being an usher is not as glamorous as I thought it would be. <laughs> now, where's the remote? Well, I don't know. You never let me touch it. <laughs> Let's see. Last time I had the remote, I was on the couch. See? Here are the crumbs from the popcorn I had for breakfast. <laughs> And I remembered I wanted popcorn sauce on my popcorn. Popcorn sauce? He calls butter popcorn sauce. His parents wouldn't let him say butter because it has the word butt in it. So I looked in the popcorn sauce compartment, and here it is. <laughs> wow, Dad. That was amazing the way you just tracked that down. You should be a private eye. Maybe I should. <laughs> totally. You're the best investigator I know. And I'm not just buttering you up. China, watch your language. <laughs> Sorry. And I'm not just popcorn saucing you up. 